So very similar to last year then. 178, 105 new meters of torque. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty much last year's. Pretty much the same, yeah. It's solid these aren't they? Ever so smooth. Yeah. Probably it's got to be the smoothest size of this bike. You reckon? Low, low down, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And um, it, it's just, it's just absolutely. It's just been refined every year. It's just been refined that little bit. Just makes it. Compare it to the ZX10R SE. While we're up here. Yeah, it's definitely smoother. Oh dear. 170, the one at the bottom. No, 172 was the best one. Yeah. That one? There we go. There's our best. Wow. The power, just power in the mid range. BMW's taking 16 horsepower. 16 horsepower. In the mid range. That's, that's massive. Wow, that is huge, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and it keeps revving. And uh, yeah, and the BMW revs another 500 RPM more, and and it keeps on making power. What about torque? Torque wise. Uh, yeah, it Ooh, chances yeah. it. There's a big the, gap. The Kawasaki at 10, 101, the BMW at 105. But look at 6,000 RPM. Look at the gap there. Just rid of our power. That's a 6,000 RPM where you're just pulling away and all that little bit on the road. That's 20, 20 newton meters. 20 newton meters. Difference. That's phenomenal. That's a huge difference, isn't it? Right where you're, right on track as well, where you're exiting a turn at like nine and a half grand. That's 10 newton meters there as well. Mm. That's a big difference. Yeah. That's a, that's a lot to make up. Yeah, no, it is. But again, the BMW has been solid. Another year solid while we wait for the new BMW. Cheers, William.